They say the camera adds 20 pounds. I think it adds six inches. This office looks absolutely tiny compared to my body. I am 6'5", 220, but man, this office is a lot bigger than this camera view is giving it credit for. I mean, I feel like I could about stretch across and reach both walls at the same time, and that's definitely not the case. Kind of an optical illusion. What's up, guys? It's Aaron, and today we're talking everything Sika Gear. I'm gonna walk through my complete Whitetail Sika Gear system in hopes to answer some of your questions so you can build the most efficient system as possible and kill more bucks this fall. Before we get too far into it, I wanna run an experiment. There is one particular piece of Sika Gear that I wear on 99% of my deer hunts. So, if you're a current Sika Gear user, Drop below in the comments what your number one must have piece of Sika gear is and I'll reveal at the end what mine is and we'll see if it's the same thing. All right, let's get started. We'll start with the early season. And keep in mind, this is all relative to where you are geographically and what time your season opens. Here in Michigan, we start October 1st. So it could be down into the 40s, all the way up into the 80s. So for this first layer, this is what I would be wearing from 60 degrees to 80 degrees and some type of variance with these different items. So what I have on here is the Core Lightweight Crew. It comes in a long sleeve and a short sleeve. And regardless of what time of the season, I'm wearing this as my base layer because it is a moisture wicking material. So it pulls the moisture away from your body through the rest of your system. And it also has polygene technology, which kills odor causing bacteria and helps with scent control. During the early season, this is typically what I'll be wearing. I got the core lightweight crew underneath. If it's really hot, I will just wear the core lightweight hoodie. And what's cool about this hoodie is obviously it's got a hood, but it's also got a built-in face mask. And I gotta say, I've tried a lot of face masks throughout the years, and my favorite ones are the ones built right into the Sika Gear system, into the Core Lightweight hoodie, and then into the Fanatic hoodie, which we'll get into later. For my bottom half, these are the early season whitetail pants. They're extremely lightweight, so it's great for warm weather, and they're actually specifically body mapped with ventilation to help you stay cool. It's a four-way stretch material, so it's super functional, super comfortable, and they have silent snaps on the pockets, so you can open and close your pockets, being dead silent and it also has that polygene technology which is gonna help kill bacteria and help your scent stay down. As we progress through the season and move into that next temperature bracket below 60 into the low 50s, what I wear is gonna change just slightly. And what I'm wearing right now is gonna make up the foundation of what I wear for every sit from now on through the rest of the season. On top, instead of the core lightweight hoodie, this is now the Fanatic hoodie, and in my opinion is the most versatile piece in the entire Sika Gear Whitetail system. And going back to my question at the beginning of the video, if you could only choose one piece from the whole Sika Gear collection, this would be mine, the Fanatic hoodie. I'm gonna wear it from the time it's in the low 60s into the 50s through the whole rest of the season. Just like the Core Lightweight hoodie, obviously it's got a hood and it also has a built-in face mask. This face mask is still super breathable. It's a little bit heavier than the one in the Core Lightweight hoodie, but still like it. It's built in, it's fit right nice on the face. And another cool feature that I don't really take advantage of is the way that these sleeves are designed. They're extra long and there's a thumb hole. And if it's a cool morning or a cool breeze kicks in, you don't have gloves on, you're actually able, just able to flip that over and you have a built-in mitten. I typically always wear the Fanatic fingerless gloves, so I don't usually use these. I usually just keep them rolled up on my wrist like that. But it is a cool feature, functional. Everything's purpose-driven design. So once we get into the low 50s or down into the 40s, the next layer I'm adding is the Celsius Midi Jacket. And this is a sweet piece. It's a great outer coat, and it is also athletic fit, so you can still use it as an underlayer if you did want to put another jacket on top of this. And I'll get into that in just a second. But what I'm wearing right now is probably what I'm going to be wearing mid-October. I got the Fanatic hoodie underneath. I got the Celsius midi jacket on the outside. And this right here will get me pretty far into the bow season. As the temperatures drop, I will add layers underneath my Equinox pants. But until it's below freezing, I'm not adding anything over top. I'll wear these as long as I could possibly get away with, strictly just layering underneath my Equinox pants. But the next layer that I'll add on top as the temperature drops just a little bit, or if it's a really windy, is the Stratus jacket. And the Stratus jacket has the Gore wind stopper membrane. So it cuts wind, stops wind from getting through. And as you can see, it fits right over the Celsius midi jacket, the way it's designed. 
And that's the best part about Sitka gear is every piece was cut and made specifically for a function to fit in a certain point in the layering system. So this one you can see, it, it fit right over that other layer or all the layers I have on so far. And I'm still got full mobility. I don't feel super bulky and I'm ready to rock. So now we're getting into below freezing temperatures. So generally mid-November to the rest of the season, I'm gonna be wearing these, the Fanatic bibs. And if you wanted to just wear these without the Fanatic jacket, you do have these cool pockets here that are fleece lined on the inside. And they did a lot of changes in 2019 to the whole Fanatic set. So one of the big complaints, this is fleece on the outside, and I know you can't really see it, but on the knees, and the shins, they took away that fleece and made it kind of a sheer face. So that way all the burrs and brush doesn't get caught on the fleece. And they also did that on parts of the jacket, which I'll get to in a minute. But the changes they made to the Fanatic set in 2019 made an awesome, awesome set. And it's something that's absolutely perfect. There's not anything I would change about it. And although it is expensive, it is well worth the investment. The best part about the Fanatic set is it's so warm that you really don't need a lot of layers underneath. I'll usually just have this Fanatic hoodie and that'll get me down into like zero degrees. It has a diagonal zip. And what's cool about that is it allows you to have this kangaroo pocket here. So I fill that full of hand warmers. I never wear heavy gloves throughout the entire year. I just have light fingerless gloves just because I like to be able to handle my camera, my phone, my bow without being inhibited by having big bulky gloves on. So I stuff this, full of, this pocket full of hand warmers and I'm able to just sit there relaxed. It's got a pocket here for grunt call, range finder, everything's very specifically designed for a purpose. The year before this last season, I was able to sit long sits, but I was putting on four, five, six, seven layers sometimes to get through those all day sits or even just some really, really cold shorter sits. This I'm able to get through with minimal layering. I made a video a couple weeks ago about being in the right place at the right time. And sometimes the right time is right in the middle of the day. So if you don't have a system that allows you to sit all day long during the whitetail rut, you're missing out on valuable opportunities that could be that buck of a lifetime. Another key piece of my system is the Merino beanie. I generally just use it as needed. I have it in my pants pocket at all times, and I normally just wear my, my trucker hat right over that, and then I put my hood up, and then I'm ready to rock. Another cool piece that I wear when it's really, really cold is this neck gaiter, and it's fleece lined. And this thing is super, super warm. It's good. It just goes over your head. You can cover your face with it. And really, really helps with the all day sits. So I recommend this. And then I also have the Stratus beanie, which I can't find right now because my whole house is a mess and I need to get organized before the season. But the Stratus beanie is what I wear through the cold temperatures every single day as it gets below freezing. I usually wear that. Sometimes I'll wear the two beanies together if it's that cold but usually I just wear the Stratus beanie. In closing, they call it Sika gear for a reason. Not Sika clothing, not Sika camo. It truly is gear and everything is built for a purpose and serves a very specific need for the whitetail hunter. It allows you to spend less time thinking about your equipment and your gear and your clothes and more time pursuing that buck of a lifetime. So one last note I'll leave you guys with is there's just something to be said about feeling really good about your hunting equipment. Knowing that you have the perfect whitetail system is gonna get you out of bed that extra morning, it's gonna keep you in the stand all day long, and ultimately, it's gonna put you in position to be successful. If you guys like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next video.